If you're looking for conspiracies, look at immigration, where the Democratic Party and the Republican Party are, are conspiring to bring in low-wage workers to depress American wages. That's on record. Exactly. That's a conspiracy. It's a real one, and it's out in the open. Sure. All I know is that the dean of the Defense Language School, Colonel Butler, went public to AP and said, three of these guys were in my classes, the guys that are on the news. Or in my classes, something's going on. James Woods on the plane two weeks before. They're acting like they're hijacking, and he tells the FBI nothing's done. I was on a flight uh, without going into the details of, of what made me suspicious of these four men, although it would have been blatantly obvious to the most casual observer. Uh, I took it upon myself to go to the flight attendant and ask to speak to the pilot of the plane. Since then, I have identified for sure uh, two of them as two of the terrorists really? uh, who actually were not on flight 11, but one was on flight 175 and one was on flight 77. And I've been told unofficially, not by the FBI, but by someone else in a, actually a higher level of government, believe it or not, just through a coincidence, through a mutual friend, that all four of them were terrorists involved. Something was going on. And I know they had Israeli and, and Saudi intelligence and British intelligence following them and German intelligence. Right. And that all came out. The point is, this was clearly some giant multi-nation spy war game. Who knows exactly what it was? I'm just saying the stonewalling of there's nothing going on here, don't look at it. Uh, take uh, six of the 10 9-11 commissioners say that we were lied to and didn't get the official story, but then it's national security. All I'm saying is it should be looked at a lot deeper because it was uh, the Hart Rubin Commission, Gary Hart, that said, we're gonna use this disaster for a new world order. There is a chance for the President of the United States to use this disaster to carry out what his father, a phrase his father used, I think, only once and hasn't been used since, and that is a new world order. Well, I mean, there's, again, there's no doubt that anytime you have a crisis like that, people use it to their own, to their own ends. But I also think that, you know, a lot of this is just inevitable. I know a lot of people who work in national security, and while I disagree with them profoundly on a lot of things, most of them are like decent Americans. No, no, I agree, but they're compartmentalized. Let me just show they you. They are compartmentalized. Let me just show you finally. Have you seen Building 7 collapse, the Solomon Brothers building? No. I want to show you that right now. Now, here we're going to show you a videotape of the collapse itself. Describe that. Now we go to videotape the collapse of this building. It's amazing. Uh, uh, amazing, incredible. Pick your word. For the third time today, it's reminiscent of those pictures we've all seen too much on television before when a building was deliberately destroyed by well-placed dynamite to knock it down. Moments ago, I was talking about the Salomon Brothers building collapsing, and indeed it has. We'll probably find out more now about that from our correspondent, Jane Stanley. Jane, what more can you tell us about the Salomon Brothers building and its collapse? Well, only really what you already know. Details was this after the collapse of the other two? Yes, yeah, so she's saying it's fallen, Building 7. New York skyline, a symbol on by huh, the mayor, Rudy Giuliani, uh, much earlier today uh, because of, the course, the dreadful collapse of the Twin Towers of the World Trade Center. But uh, New York very much a city still in chaos. The phones are not working properly. The they announced Building 7 fell 25 minutes before it did and then lied and said this wasn't real and then later admitted it. And then we have the up-close footage of CNN. Police saying, get back, they're going to bring it down. Keep your eye on that building as we come down. It was almost as if it were a planned implosion. It just pancaked. Well, pancaking almost like a precision implosion. It's reminiscent of those pictures we've all seen too much on television before when a building was deliberately destroyed, destroyed by well-placed dynamite to knock it down. We started walking down the stairs, we made it to the eighth floor. Big explosion. Blew us back into the eighth floor. I'm just confused about one thing and one thing only. Why World Trade Center 7 went down in the first place. I'm very confused about that. I know what I heard. I heard explosions. The, the, the um, expl explanation I got was it was the uh, fuel oil tank. I'm an old boiler guy. If it was a fuel oil tank, it would have been one side of the building. I remember getting a call from the uh, fire department commander telling me that they were not sure they were going to be able to contain the fire. 
I said, you know, we've had such terrible loss of life. Maybe the smartest thing to do is, is pull it. Uh, and they made that decision to pull. And then we watched the building collapse. I don't want to put you on the spot here and have, oh. the, and have the black helicopters come after you, Tucker Carlson. But uh, what do you think of that? You know, I'm not a structural engineer. I think it's upsetting to watch it. I remember when that happened. I mean, look, I have no idea. I, I don't know any. I mean, I, I don't understand how buildings collapse. I don't understand how Building 7 collapsed. I find it really hard to believe that the U.S. government was in league with Al Qaeda. I just don't believe. I just if, if evidence emerges that they were, I'll be the first one picketing the White House. What do you think of the open funding of Al Qaeda to blow up churches and things in Syria? I th you're talking about the you are arming the 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 Syrian rebels. I think yes. it's, I think it's completely crazy. All right, so that's Alex Jones offering the red pill to Tucker Carlson. Stay tuned. We're going to have the conclusion of that interview. We'll be right back. Clean water at home, clean water at the office, clean water on the go. The Berkey guy has a Berkey water filtration model for anywhere you are and one that fits any budget. Thousands of satisfied customers can't be wrong. For free shipping within the U.S., go to GoBerkey.com or call 877-886-3653. That's 877-886-3653. Helping thousands prepare since 2005, GoBerkey.com. You've been hearing about the amazing benefits of heart and body extract for many years. Now, hear from the co-founder. My name is Tony Knudsen, and I am the co-founder of Heart and Body Extract. We've been in business for over 13 years now. With thousands of satisfied customers who have experienced the amazing benefits but never experienced a price hike. We've kept consistent pricing the whole entire time the company's been in business and will continue to do so. Call today for Heart and Body Extract, 866-295-5305, or visit hbextract.com. American gardeners and fellow patriots make the right choice with your money, time, and your family food supply. Choose 100% pure heirloom seeds in the Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com. Why spend more? The Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com is only $37.95 and includes 20 varieties of pure, hardy, easy-to-grow heirloom seeds. Yes, only $37.95. That's 70% less than our competitors. You could buy three Survival Seed Vaults for less than one of theirs. The Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com includes detailed planting and seed saving instructions and ship same day. Plus, all orders over $49 ship free. MyPatriotSupply.com is American owned by patriots like you, passionate about freedom and preparedness. Call now, 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Or discover more emergency preparedness items when you order at MyPatriotSupply.com. Choose the original. Choose the Survival Seed Vault at MyPatriotSupply.com. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formula fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. Corruption. I'm David Alex Knight. Jones. I'm filling in for Alex Jones, and we're tight with this documentary interview style that we've got going between Alex Jones and Tucker Carlson. You just heard Alex offer him some evidence about 9-11 and Building 7. He offered the red pill. Let's see if he takes it. We'll be right back. Stay tuned for this. We're going to have some calls on CPAC in the next hour. So all those people have been holding, Janet, Massachusetts, Clinton, Ohio, many other people, hang on. We're going to take your calls right after this last segment of this never before interviewed, aired interview. Stay tuned. And by the way, I think 
that it's tied to Benghazi. Why were there more than a dozen CIA officers and, and contractors in Benghazi? I mean, I think there's a lot we don't know about that. And it's a, I don't know, it's not, I'm not saying it's a conspiracy, but I think we ought to be really wary of people calling themselves freedom fighters. Mm -hmm. um, we just don't know that much about the rest of the world is the truth. We really don't. We weigh in on these things and we don't understand the countries uh, whose course we're influencing very well. And well, I think we agree on one thing, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, that they've certainly used this, as Rahm Emanuel said, this crisis. Yes. They've not let it go to waste. You never want a serious crisis to go to waste. And what I mean by that, it's an opportunity to do things that you think you could not do before. They've used all these threats. Of course. And, and no one denies that there you know, aren't radical Muslim extremist terrorists out there. But bottom line, that threat's being used to overthrow our republic and our free system. Why not just say, hey, you want to come after us? Come after us. We'll strike back at you, not fundamentally overthrow our system. I totally agree. What happened? I like the Rudy Giuliani September 12th posture, which was, we're Americans. We have huevos. Like, we're not going to be intimidated or afraid. That's who we are. We're not going to cower uh, behind concertina wire. And I wish, we'd, I wish I could opt out of the system. I'm comfortable with risk. I'd be willing to take more risk in my life if I could have more choices. I would. Tucker Carlson, thank you so much for this in-depth interview. Uh, you've got courage coming over here to the studio. I think we've had a really good interview, and I appreciate you coming in and coming on the radio show. Uh, in closing, what are some of the top stories, stories you think were most important versus the two or three stories that end up being the biggest thing that the DailyCaller.com has ever broken? Uh, you know, I'm so, you're, I mean, you have the same life where you're just constantly involved in the news cycle. It's hard even to think about last week or next week. We, we broke a story yesterday about the VA destroying claims of vet returning veterans trying to get uh, their benefits and destroying claims because they, they couldn't deal with the backlog so they just flushed them down the toilet. I think it's a metaphor for the way government in the end, when it gets too big, treats people um, you know, like numbers and mistreats people uh, in the end. But the NSA story for me is the biggest story of the year by far. It's the biggest story of the decade. Because they lied about it and said they weren't doing it. Reading my email is not going to make America safer. It only curtails my freedom, and it's scary. Now it's come out, as you know, and we knew this years ago, that the government agencies are taking snapshots off the webcam of all sorts of people for blackmail material. Well, I, I don't know anything about blackmail, but I do know that my tech guys, when we first started The Daily Caller, all put gaffer's tape over their cameras. And I remember saying, what are you, some kind of nutcase? Like, you think people were watching you? <laughs> and they said, actually, people could commandeer your camera. I don't, have, I don't have masking tape on my computer yet. But Come on, you've, you're on the White House enemies list. <laughs> I, I hope so. No, I'm no, trying no. hard. What are you talking about? You've got Media Matters that's run by. I'm coming after you. Yeah. I, Grudge I, and me. I, let me just say, final thing, the one piece of good news is, as you pointed out a minute ago, these people may have bad intentions, but they are incompetent. And their incompetence is the one thing that keeps us safe. Well, I used to always hear this incompetence theory, and I would just throw it completely out back when I had, like, Six, seven crew members. Now that I have like 40. Yeah, exactly. Now I know how the world works and all these kids. It's like, my God, it's hard to organize stuff even when you know what you're doing. So exactly. I, I hear what you're saying. Tucker Carlson, DailyCaller.com. Thanks for coming in. Thanks, folks. I appreciate that. That was fun. Right. Thanks a lot. All right, folks, that's it for this special edition of InfoWars Nightly News. A big in-depth talk with the man formerly known as Mr. Bowtie. Now he wears, a, what, a Patagonia shirt? Or Something like that. Something like that. All right, we'll uh, see you back here tomorrow night, 7 o'clock Central. And remember, if you're watching this transmission, you are the resistance. All right, you've been listening to an interview between Alex Jones and Tucker Carlson of The Daily Caller. First time it's ever aired, but you can now see it. If you missed any of that important interview, check it out on YouTube, Alex's channel. This is GCN, the Genesis Communications Radio Network. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record. Reports documented a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine.
Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base. Nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield Nascent Iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield Nascent Iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139.